Coming out of the tunnel, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs with Stan Cutler, Chris Anderson, Greg Brentnell, Peter Mortimer, Steve Guerin, Gary Hughes, Steve Mortimer, Mark Hughes, Folks, Graham Hughes, Peter Smith, Papola Tricks, and uh, his cover defence has saved Canterbury on many occasions. He's a really great player. There's the South Sydney side with John Seller into fullback in number five and Terry Fay on the wing in number one with the withdrawal from the South Sydney side, Terry Hughes. Ken Stewart is dummy half. This man kicking ahead is uh, Squadrito, but uh, it's Canterbury Bankstown in possession inside the 22. And a run being made by the elusive Steve Mortimer turns it on the inside of his brother Peter and nicely tackled there by the South Sydney winger or fullback in fact John Seller playing in number five good short ball to Stan Cutler beats Laurie and has tackled into touch just outside the South Sydney 22 tackler again was Seller but Laurie goes into half for the scrum which is won by Canterbury. And here's Steve Mortimer, slipping up the centre, splitting South Sydney, giving it to Cutler, throwing it round the corner, but it's gone to another player who, in fact, is tackled just outside the quarter. I thought it may have gone in a forward direction. Gary Hughes, Steve Mortimer, Mark Hughes, Jeff Robinson, Bretton on the outside, but doesn't pass. Tackled by Gary Wright. Mark Hughes works the blind, gains another seven or eight metres. Canterbury looking dangerous now. McMillan is back in the line. Through Folks to Gary Hughes. Dummies and gives it to Peter Smith. A one-hander back to Gary Hughes. Then on to Stan Cutler. Now on to Peter Mortimer. And he's out of the tackle. And another. He's still going. Tackled 18 metres out. Almost on the touchline in front of the scoreboard. Steve Mortimer. Gary Hughes coming on the burst as Folks Gives it to Robinson. Robinson stands, looks, gets the pass back. It's to Folks, and the number nine is galloping towards the line to Graham Hughes. He's only a metre short. Last tackle for Canterbury now. South Sydney reeling under this attack from Canterbury. Gary Hughes floats it to Greg Brentnell. He scores. Canterbury's number three. Greg Brentnell scoring. Canterbury three, South two now. He led to that try, but that kick that Fay failed to find touch with. It could easily have seen Souths onto the attack, but in fact... Canterbury getting possession, saw the ball go right downfield for them to score. And here's Mark Hughes giving it to Chris Anderson. He gets a pass on the inside to Peter Mortimer. Oh, that was a great piece of football by Canterbury. Folks, it was not Peter Mortimer. Steve Mortimer now, through to Gary Hughes, on to Jeff Robinson. Oh, are they making this ball do the work? Peter Mortimer now. And a carving run. Jeff Robinson on the inside. Inside the 22, a great piece of football by Canterbury. Steve Mortimer, Gary Hughes, chinking and turning it on the inside to Steve Mortimer. Then on and dropped by Cutler and picked up by Graham Hughes and the referee will put a scrum down. I thought he made a mistake there, Peter, coming back in field. Uh, Hughes, I thought he had plenty of opportunities on the outside. If he'd have let the ball go quickly, a try was definitely on. Yes, Keith, although Mortem was inside, and I think he might have called because he, he stopped very quickly. and uh, He might have, but inside. they had the overlap out wide, didn't they? Yeah, they did. South winning a valuable scrum. Laurie tackled by Mark Hughes. Nathan Gibbs to play it, just inside the 22. Peak. South settling up. Down 5-2. 19 gone, first half. 12 is Stewart. Dummy half McMillan. Gary Wright's calling for it. That's him. This is Charlie Frith. Tackled by Paponis. Oh, bad pass. Oh, here's a chance for Canterbury. Greg Brentnell sprinting in. He's lost the ball. Oh, boy. That was as close as a boarding house scrape of butter. Just watch how close Greg Brentnell goes. He's certainly being harassed here by this South Sydney player, isn't he? Yes, he was. He got a good <laughs> bounce, too. Steve Mortimer. That man is folks. Seven or eight metres out from the quarter line. Canterbury. Leading 5-2. Gary Hughes. Robinson. The wild man of Canterbury's team, they say. Steve Mortimer. 
across the field and then to Folks. And Folks throws the dummy and is out of a tackle. Back to Chris Anderson. Across to Paponis. A quick ball to Robinson. Has Gary Hughes on the left. On the inside, Cutler. Gave it to Gary Hughes who went around to the inside. And then he flings the ball across to Steve Mortimer who's inside the 22. Canterbury just keeping this ball going. Mark Hughes, Jeff Robinson on the inside. Brentnell. Brentnell to Robinson. Robinson, can he get the ball away? Yes, he does to Chris Anderson. Oh, what a try. <laughs> oh, that could be the try of 79. How many sets of hands? Uh, that was making the 22 line. South to take the tap. Keep in mind they're going to have a pretty strong breeze behind them in the second half. They're down six points at the moment. Laurie to Frith. And oh, gee. He almost lost it, the big man. On the run around, Roach. The Canterbury defence holding firm. Three metres inside the 22. Ball to be played to Terry Fay. He'll go himself. And loses his footing. And is easy prey for George Paponis. Ten metres out now, Souths. Using up a couple of tackles. McMillan giving it to Nathan Gibbs. And he's left it behind him. It's Canterbury's ball for them. It could go to Brentnell. He's in position. There he is. Only a chip. Flashing through his cutler. And, oh, he almost had that ball. But Sellers got it for South. He split them. Inside the 22. Looks and finds support on the outside. Picked up by Terry Fay. And the big man is grasped. Ten metres out. Played by Fay. Out to Stewart, on through right, this is Gibbs, held by Gary Hughes. They lost about 15 metres in that exchange. Now, Bob McMillan, 15 out. Five minutes from half-time, 8-2 Canterbury. Laurie popping up to peak, and back to Frith. Oh, oh. he looked at the referee as if to say, is it OK, boss? <laughs> instead of looking for the support and playing to the whistle. Well, that's the impression I form. Yeah, you're right, Ray, and there was support looming up too. Again, a bomb by Gary Wright, Gary Wright it is. He flies for it. This is a good ball for uh, South. They've got it. No, Braybrook ruling a double knock on. A for that swinging arm in the tackle on Robinson. The drop out down to John Abbott on the halfway. And Abbott gains about 11 metres before his progress is halted. Folks, Mortimer, and a, a Mark Hughes giving it to Anderson. Anderson turns it back to Mark Hughes. He's held in the tackle by Laurie and Gibbs. Mortimer, Folks, Gary Hughes, cuts out Graham Hughes, gives it to Cutler, and he's tackled by Gary Knight. Five metres on the South Sydney side of the halfway. John Abbott on the field replacing Peter Smith. Dummy half over there is Gearin. Gary Hughes through Peter Mortimer. Greg Brentner with it now. And he strides through a tackle and goes downfield 20 metres looking for support. Finds Mark Hughes who raked it in beautifully. Tackle by Fay just outside the south quarter. It's through Steve Mortimer and Paponis out to Graham Hughes. A quick pair of hands to Gary Hughes. On it goes to Folks. Folks has gone up inside the quarter. Gave it to Gearin. Floats it on the inside and taken by Knight for South Sydney. South ball. Penalty. Two Souths. <coughs> Against Mortimer for not retiring. And he's kicked it this time. So the score in the big game on Channel 10 is Canterbury 8, South Sydney 4. Gary Hughes, Mark Hughes, Anderson, Cutler, good tackle by Seller. Robinson, Gary Hughes. In the back play, Mark Hughes is injured. Steve Mortimer. His head given a bit of a thump into the ground by Nathan Gibbs. Gary Hughes. Folks. Brentnell. Chip off the left foot. Beautifully positioned. Peter Mortimer. He's got it. Looks around. Finds Gearin unmarked. Gearin is marked. By squad Rito who came from behind. Cutler. Folks. Gary Hughes. Graham. Abbott. Inside goes Steve Mortimer, losing his footing, wriggling through like a worm and then giving it to Anderson. Back to Graham Hughes. 
And Touch Judge in to make a report as the six tackles expire. Feeding as McMillan. Same tunnel. In again. Canterbury's ball. Gary Hughes. Mark Hughes. Away from two. Held by Nathan Gibbs. Midway between the quarter and the halfway. South end of the field. Steve Mortimer. Paponis. Abbott. Short ball to Peter Mortimer. And grounded. Nine metres out from the 22. Canterbury give the impression they're boiling up to uh, another try. Gary Hughes. Robinson! Robinson galloping! Anderson! They won't catch Anderson under the uprights. For Canterbury to lead 11 points to four. Chrissy Anderson scored two tries today and he should buy Jeff Robinson. We're inside the last five minutes of the big game. Brought to you by Westco Motors Mazda. With Canterbury leading South 13 to four. Penalty. Two Souths. Collapsing the scrum as the ruling. Tap taken by McMillan. Canterbury inside the 10. Laurie. Might be tempted to play it ahead. No. Plays it back. And Nathan Gibbs to Squadrito. John Seller to dummy half. Laurie. Frith. Dummy half is peak. Laurie again. Right going for it with Mortimer. It's off a couple of sets of hands. Taken by a South player. Let's watch the referee. He's ruled a fair try. Scored by Gary Knight for South Sydney. Well, let's... Restarts it. And down to Roach, the winger for Souths. McMillan. Right. Laurie. Held on his own quarter line. Ball played back to Steve Topper. This is Hambly. And Hambly has lost the ball to Brentnell for Canterbury. Steve Mortimer. Robinson. Robinson tackled just outside the 22. Took three South Sydney players to stop him. Casillas, who came on replacing Abbott a few minutes ago. And Casillas has taken it within about 15 metres of the South Sydney line. 